Hello and welcome back to Pillars. We're about to go back to Dunnage to return some bounties. And after that, we're probably gonna go to Nekataka. And uh, we have still a lot of missions. We mostly killed, uh, destroyed a lot of the ships. Wait, and the morale is going up. Ailey's running short. You blink and find yourself standing in the knee high grass of an endless field. With the day just falling into dusk. I wish uh, we heard more of this narrator. She seemed to do a better job than me. The grass still holds the warmth of late afternoon sunlight. But a chill breeze blows at your back, raising goose flesh down your arms. The churr and trill of night jars rises with the wind. In the inky bruise of the sky, Stars ignite by the ones and twos. The tolling of a single bell joins the chorus of birdsong. Then another. The sound surrounds you. Every stalk of grass bears a delicate silver bell on its end, bobbing in the wind. The chill breeze becomes a howling gale, and the tide of ringing bells sweeps you off your feet. It carries you like flotsam through the sea of grass. Then, the earth falls away. The wind ceases, and you are sent tumbling up into the dark of the sky. Watcher. The voice of the pallid night shakes the earth at your feet. You have returned to Bareth's realm. Your soul once more called to attend the wishes of the god of death. Bow. No, we're not gonna do that. You know, I'm starting to look forward to these chats. Let me try a door next time. Yep. Your preference has been noted. The pallid knight crosses her arms. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> you can't be certain, but you think you might see the barest hint of a smile tugging at the edges of the pallid knight's lips. Once again, you have spoken with the child of light. The Pallid Knight says. Tell me what you have learned. Should I tell you? I have nothing new to report. He's still... He's mi well, he's still smashing his way across the death fire, destroying everything in his side. Should I say that he's going toward Magron's Thief? Yeah, he's still smashing his way across the death fire, destroying everything inside. I'm kind of curious what how you react. My patience is not infinite, and your soul is but one breath in a hurricane that I control. The she closes the gap between you in a blink. This near, you realize the god of death has a smell. Like dust and ozone. Petrichor and cold, cold steel. Oh. <clears throat> he makes for Magron's Thief. Intriguing. The pallid knight stares past you, pensive. While wow, attend, tell me what your many eyes perceive. Her words ring out, and a heavy silence descends. In the silence breaks the murmur of countless voices. They speak all at once in languages both known and unknown to you. In the space beside Barith, an eye blinks open, followed fast by several more. They are round, keen eyes of kith, the slit eyes of snakes, the small, dark marbles of birds, the bulbous lanterns of deep sea fish. Here we are. The vo a figure walks through the cloud of eyes as one might step through a door. It is an Orlan, then a pale elf, an ocean human, a naga, each of them eyeless. Damn. I'm not sure how I'm, I'm okay with the ocean human uh, race. Okay, continue. They are well. Yeah, let's just read who well is. God of secrets, yeah. Revelations, illusions, crypto cryptography, obfuscation, perception, dreams, and visions. Well is in and in of itself. A mystery with no consistent form or gender. Its followers re revel in the acts of creating and unraveling mysteries. This is the first interesting thing to happen in ages. And we do so love a riddle. The figure wears an Amawa's grin. 
and the many voices beneath its own titter. Yes, it is interesting when hundreds of kids die so Eltas can take a stroll. What is that? That's honest? Damn. Wouldn't say that. Well, that well, I suppose that is honest, but still. Has some attitude. <clears throat> some things must be lost to be found again. You knew that once, when you buried my scroll beneath the earth in Black Meadow. But it seems you have forgotten. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot about that. We have read the book of your life, Watcher. It is heavy with the weight of your choices, and its pages are not unmarred by the blood of others. You read, but on a smaller scale. We see between the strings of the world, and Eothis is there, strumming them like a lute. His tongue is still, yet he sings of a coming joy. Interesting take on Val's voice. At least one woman and man talking at the same time. I think two only. What two he plays, we do not know. It is complex, ever shifting. One moment vibrating in harmony, the next in discord. A man strides through the door to Bereth's realm. Behind him lope wolves with lolling tongues, and jungle cats whose long tails twitch with every step. Galloway, the changeling, arrives, and he brings with him the wild heart of Ayora's untamed places. Just as a reminder, Galloway is the god of the hunt. Assassins purs pursue it wilderness and predatory creatures, sometimes thought to take the form of a fur clad hunter of a great hound. Galloway favors the survival of the strong and the culling of the weak. Fast on Galloway's heels, a small wave of seawater washes across the tiles. It pours off the edge of the platform and cascades down into the beyond. From out of the water rears a glowing lure, then the head of a gigantic fish. The round black eyes of Andra roll to meet yours. Goddess of the oceans, forgotten in forgotten thing, things lost, relentlessness and mourning, said to have once fallen in love with the moon, and to have tried to draw it near with catastrophic consequences, people bring tokens to her temples of things they wish to forget, and her clergy sees, to, sees the tokens cast into the sea. Eothas is nothing if not resourceful. I admire his nerve, Galloway says. Yeah. Uh, it, it's kind of nice that uh, the appropriate god is highlighted. But we know who Eotas is. However, they are not just the god of one thing. They are usually a god of uh, many, many things. In the changeling's voice, you hear the soft patter of rain on leaves and the rush of wind through treetops. Aren't you worried? No, he is a creature of the pack left long alone. Without our strength behind him, he is weak. Gallop. If his journey leads him back to us, he has proved himself worthy of return to the fold. Really? Aethys does not return to us. He returns to execute some grand plan. We must stop him. Andra's voice rises like a tide, panic riding its crest. The doors lining the walls of Bereth's realm slam open in unison. Warped pieces of ancient armor and the remnants of discarded weapons roar <coughs> through the doorways. They meet in the center of the room, in a shower of sparks and form, the vague figure of a man. Finally, a blacksmith's sledge hurdles past your shoulder, and the figure snatches it from the air. A man made half of metal and half of ruined skin stands before you. The rounded metal of a well-worn shield makes up most of his skull, his right eye socket, and jaw. 
His mouth is pulled forever into a half grimace. If Aothas has something foolish planned, perhaps we can turn him from that path and set him down a more productive one. Abaddon's words crash and screech together, like long still gears forced to movement for the first time in centuries. God of Golems, machines, industry, strength, hope, and aspiration favored most commonly upon the laboring class. The Golem is thought to have once been able to take a human resembling form as the as most of the other gods are, but then being somehow killed, only to forge himself back into existence inside the shell of a immense golem. Various accounts of his death exist, and none is considered definitive. <clears throat> Abidon speaks with a child's naivety, Andra says. Great! The other gods don't seem too concerned. He violates not their realms, but mine. I feel his urgency in every stamp of his feet along my spine. I will send tsunamis to slow him, if Margaret would stir the earth beneath Margaret's teeth. The water at your feet recedes. Lava oozes up through the shallow water and a woman made from the guts of the earth emerges. She settles her characteristic broadsword on her shoulder and sighs a cloud of smoke and ash. Well, that's Barrett. Magrin returns. Never mind that. Isn't that how? Well, the la lava. Nope. Okay, Magrin. Wait. Goddess of war, fire, transformation, purification, consumption, and trials. Patron goddess of the Deerwood. Thought to have uh, blessed the goth hammer bomb that destroyed Vaidvan and possibly Otas. <clears throat> So, she's a goddess as well. We do know that. I kind of expected the Barrett to show up. In the age when our steps carved valleys across the face of Aeora, our bodies were impervious to all but the strongest attacks. Mark. I doubt fire and water will be enough to stop him. But I will bear down upon Aethys with all the heat and fury of the Earth. If I must. Hmm. <clears throat> In this kind of games, you're always kept in the dark. Guys, you gotta give me more than this. I can't make up my mind. I, I, I know nothing other than Eotas killing a bunch of people, and you guys don't like that. Or not even that. Not that. They don't. They don't even care about that part. You should seize this opportunity to slow him while you can. There might not be another chance. Or trying at least. What? Thousands of kit will die. The death of thousands now could prevent the death of millions later. Andra says. A difficult calculus, but a logical one. But you don't know if you're you'll save millions. You might kill thousands for nothing. Dark, inky tears fall from Andra's eyes. Sacrifices of the few protect the futures of the many. You cannot let your petty mortal feelings blind you to the urgency of the dilemma Aethys has thrust upon us. Yeah, but this doesn't seem like a stop Aethys plan, more like a slow down Aethys plan. Okay, we slow him down, but to do what? My petty mortal feelings are the only reason your wrists don't chafe in Wodica's sh shackles. Hmm, funny how it's always Kit who must make the sacrifices, never you. Yeah, that's very funny. You will mind upon whose ground you tread. The Pallid Knight watches you with keen, predatory eyes. The deep, bellowing cry of an Orox shakes the ground beneath your feet. The cry drones on and on, a moan without end. While's many eyes squeeze shut, Andra slips back beneath her waves. Magrin dissipates in a swirling cloud of steam. Galloway's beasts cower and whine. Only the pallid knight stands impassive. My end comes to all things in time. Re Should Aethus care to hasten the inevitable, I welcome his efforts. That's Ringrind. 
uh, god of death, basically, and cold and whatnot. <clears throat> well, I, 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 I pray basically pressed whatever. It seemed like it was uh, over. But that's what she would have said. Death and I are well acquainted. I welcome its return. If he hopes to bring about the end of the world, he'll die too. What could Eothas possibly gain by destroying Eora? Eothas seeks a slate wiped clean. Rimmergond oh, says. Rimmergond. Uh, that's an assumption. Why do you believe he seeks that? Freedom from the endless revolutions of Barath's wheel. Alright. The final emancipation of the countless stolen mortal lives the gods hoard within themselves. The Child of Light will not choose the hour of my death. Magrin tests the edge of her broadsword with a smoldering finger. He sows chaos in his longing for a radiant dawn. Andra says. So much will be lost in the cacophony of fear his actions inspire. The crack of thunder rends the air. The gods fall silent. We can wait no longer to act. The Pallid Knight says. Speak with him, Watcher. Discover what it is he plans. I'll do my best. Water begins to creep across the floor. It swells, runs swiftly, and catches at your ankles. You scrabble at the tiles, but it's no use. The current's pull drags you off the edge of Barith's realm and into the fathomless beyond. You splash down in water so dark you can't see the bottom. Then, the water recedes, gone like a dream upon waking. The hard wood of your cabin's floor presses against your spine. The gods are gone, but you remain. Well, I appreciate being uh, invited to these uh, get-togethers, uh, gods. <clears throat> So we need more information. Well, for sure, we can't really mess with the gods. Oh, they can just kill me. Oh, we are... Got it. Oh! Soti. I just want to get the hell out. To, your schooling, to the world map. We need to... Tweak the squad. I need to set up the squad right now. Uh... It's a it's a bummer as far as I know ship management no party management no it keeps no it doesn't keep it the way oh no cancel never mind that it seems like it kept it there was a patch so maybe <clears throat> a colorful parrot alights on the railing of the your ship a missive uh, bound to its leg bears the sigil of the Kahanga tribe. Breathe. It would be my honor to host the savior of Hasango at the Kahanga Palace. The Kataka is a city of for Juana and outsiders alike. There is no shortage of work for Kit, who are determined to be as useful as you. Should you have the stamina for a good climb, the palace atop Serpent's Crown could be second could be your second home. Think on it. Queen Wonkaza, too. Wow. How could you be one Kaza too? That's so annoying. Like I, I get Queen One Kaza, but like the second Queen One Kaza? Damn. Aren't you supposed to be Queen Two Kaza? Just putting it out there. So let's go to Lifter's Refuge. I think we need to uh return a, a Bonte mission here. It's good to have the journal. Especially these bounty missions are, are not very memorable. They're just like, hey, you wanna kill some guy and I just gonna mention uh, very briefly. And you say, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Udita, are you the one? What's a good word, Scuttler? What bounties do you have available? Keen as I am to accept your offer, you've got your work cut out for you. She thumbs the curve of the pipe and shrugs. Scuttle your current target before moving on to another, eh? 
You don't have to worry about children any longer. Hope the Navy doesn't trouble you none over it. They tend to hold a grudge. Principe son Petrena, moderate positive. Hey, you're better at this than I thought. You open some more work and more coin for your troubles? What bounties do you have? Your next target is Kuaru, a Huana captain with a black mark on his name. He sees outlander ships <laughs> like floating game ready to be harpooned. I ordered to kill them. He's well scuttled then. Blimey, you're keen at this. There's more work in your future. Just give me the usual signal, eh? What bunt is you got? You'll be scuttling a Valian captain next. Rock Stomper Rodul is a mountain dwarf with a penchant for sinking freedom lovers. So you'll be doing me a personal favor scuttling his craft. Kadina recognized the bowl of her pipe and still has your expression. Yep, kill them too. <laughs> wow, that's gotta be quite the conversation. Like, yep, yep, yeah, that killed. I killed them already. Uh, who else? Knowing the dead fire waters are short, a pirate hunter is worth ten times its weight in pyres. Udita has the sack of coin almost too heavy for her to bear. She sighs at being rid of it and returns her attention to her pipe. Hate to say it, Scuttler, but I'm tapped out. My client's gone awfully quiet, so we're both better off sailing for the next horizon. Shake her head and not your head, not head. Pleasure working with you, Udita. However, that would be a... well... An odd way to say goodbye. Hmm. Right, I misspoke, but like, come on. That that seems pretty odd. Odd. Anyway, uh, where are we going? Uh, I have Desiral at Radiant Court. Yeah, that's where we gotta go. We got bond missions for Desiral. I just don't feel like these bounty missions add a lot to the game. I think like attacking the ships is fine enough, but it would be more interesting if the ships just had uh, the money on them instead of just like running to these guys who are like, "Hey, bounty mission!" Ishi, stop pecking at Seraphin's beard. Any attention? Ah, be uh, good attention, lass. Ow. Ah, who's a good bird? I welcome your return. Desiro gives you a warm smile. Mm -hmm. Well, I killed a lot of people. I killed Lord Admiral Wimp. So, the puffed up little charlatan is gone for good. Well done. But halfway is half done, my friend. There are two more members of the Firebrand's old crew that need your... special attention. I killed the Apparel as well, Lady Apparel. Finally, the Lady Falls. You already have my gratitude. Now take my coin. She drops a generous pouch in your hall. There's just the one crew member left now. I killed her too, Katrin. I hope Katrin put on a good show for you before the end. A grin is wicked, sharp as a jungle cat's. You've put to bed the last of the Firebrand's crew, my friend. Which was more than I ever could have hoped for. Thank you truly. I can rest easy now. Knowing. They got what they deserve. Sounds like you got a grudge against the Firebrand's crew. It's nothing personal. <laughs> the crew earned their reputation through murder and thievery. And it would make me sick to see them regain an ounce of their power. She tries for a nonchalant shrug, but it comes off looking like she got a sore shoulder instead. What's bothering you? There's no need to make my concerns your own, my friend. It's family business. That's all. But I suppose you have a right to know. She pauses and slips the sulonet from her pocket again. It gleams golden in the low light. My idiot kid sister was on the firebrand, seduced to a dishonest life by the promise of adventure. When the pirate hunters killed the crew and sank the ship, they also killed my sister. But those irredeemable lowlifes I sent you after got away without a scrape. I want them to pay. I don't much care how, so long as they take their turn on the wheel. Tell me about your sister. She, a smile twitches at the corner of her lips. Danea was a wild girl from the day she was born. She came out of the womb yelling loud enough to make your ears bleed. And she never really stopped. 
She chased a bad end like a winter-starved wolf chases the first fat deer calf of spring. It was only a matter of time before she caught it. But dead is dead. And reminiscing with you won't bring her back. Very well, Dusty Raw. Anyway, uh, what we got here? Poco Kohara, we definitely don't have that. Bigger, uh, bigger fish. Yeah, that's not too relevant. Go to the palace at Serpent's Crown in Nakataka. I should present myself at the royal palace in Nakataka to give an accounting of what happened to Hasengo. I think that's the plan. Golat, that's that's a follow-up to talking with the queen. Yeah, career calling. Yeah, we don't. We we, we didn't uh, go to Harama yet. East of Nekataka, yeah, North East, we didn't do that. Also, we got Bikarna's Foley. Bikarna hit something important within the orrery at the top of her research station. The device has a mechanism for entering the coordinates of stars in the night sky. And the plaque on the orrery controls mentioned something about a huntress and three stages of her tale. Perhaps all four parts of the story can be found elsewhere in the observatory. Uh, we, I think we looted everything and we couldn't interact with the thing. So, that's not good. Sacred Stair of Nekataka, I need to return with someone's head. What is this? Okay, so I got more Bunt emissions. I can go to... Nungata, uh, Serpent Crown, Bunty Hunter, and Oka Okauro, uh, Sacred Stair. Uh, Bounty Hunter. That fires southeast. Okay, so I got three bounties to return. Uh, one in the Brass Citadel, one in uh, Serpent's Crown, and one in Sacred Stair. Serpent's... Okay, two in Serpent's Crown. And we also need to go to the Temple of Gaon in Nekataka. Now... I don't know, I, I I personally find it a little bit hard to like do like... Know, like 20 missions at the same time. So... We need to get out of town, right? I think we did everything here, and we can just like... Get the hell out of here. Uh, but one for sure. Nakataka is the way to go. I think first we're gonna go to... Well, we, we're obviously going toward Nakataka. I think first we're gonna go to the Sacred Stair. Uh, then we're gonna go to Serpent's... Something something. Serpent's Crown. And then we're gonna go to the Brasada because uh, the blockade at Hasango. The guys uh, who were part of the blockade suggested that we should uh, talk with them after we talk with the, the queen. So I suppose that's the plan. Damn. Okay. Not even explored half of the map. I just assume this is uh, the entire map, but yeah. Nakataka. So, we gotta go to the sacred stair first. Huh. That, we can go inside the Temple of Gaon. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start inside the Temple of Gaon. Because we have to go in... Wait a second. You hear someone call out for your attention. Doesn't mean we have to uh, give it to them. You're wandering through the streets when a man approaches you, cutting through the crowd. You've never seen him, but the look in his eyes suggests that he recognizes you. Watcher, let me through. Meadow Folk emerges uh, from the crowd, red-faced and wild-haired. He pays no mind to the ir irritated pedestrians glovering at him. His bright eyes are fixed on you. You're looking fervent as always, Latarn. Wow. You know, that's why 
That's why it's really hard to do their voices or like attempt to do their voices because you just don't know who's talking. You know, if it was like Soti uh, says that, then okay, I can I can attempt it. But if I don't know who's talking, then I I don't know. Like I would say that it's more important. It, it's it's very important to know who is talking first than what they are saying. Not just like he just says that. And I just assumed that the guy said that, but then Soti said that, so I, that that's that's like a oh that's a surprise right there. But I think Soti should go first. Like who says it, definitely should go first in my in my opinion. Uh, just her chin and brusque uh, greeting. In response, the missionary puffs out a breath. Either gives a nod and a wink. Yeah, whatever. I suppose that was a compliment coming from you, indeed. I strive to follow the light and godliness. Of course it was. I mean, why wouldn't it be? So these words speak to innocence, but her grin is too rough, too wolfish. Then allow me to return the gesture. I'd say you seem darker than usual, Harvester. It shrouds you. All that death and heresy. Reckon I'll hold my tongue from now on. So they immediately bristles, ignoring her hard scowl. Uh, Latern resettles his gaze on you. You. You're the one who... What saw the miracle. What? Why are you referring me as a what? Isn't that supposed to be a who? Uh, when Eotas rose at Cad Nua, even conviction quiver in his voice. Uh, yes, and you must be Latern. You left Hasango just before Eotas arrived. His riding was a tragedy, every other man, woman and child at the keep died. Oh, we can be insightful. You're Latern, right? I knew it. Our paths were meant to cross. Our people talk highly of you. It's no wonder Eltas chose you to witness his return. That's why I'm hoping you can help. The tiniest flicker of doubt dances across his face. He banishes it with a deep breath and launches into his tail. I've been having strange dreams. A wheel that spins and spins. An orchard of koiki trees, each grown from the fallen fruit of the last. He scratches at his whiskered chin. Then, the spokes of the wheel break apart. The trees stop growing. Fruit falls and rots until the ground is covered with festering, stinking pulp. Why are you telling me this? Dreams are the sleeping mind at play, no sense in getting worked up? Uh, yep. Yep, exactly. That's, that's rational, right? I have to say that... <clears throat> although dreams are meaningless... Uh, well... I suppose not completely meaningless. What they are about is probably meaningless, but they do kind of reflect your mental state, so... Perhaps. I don't know. Maybe maybe not. I Actually, it just doesn't matter. Like, I suppose your recent mental state? I don't know. But you definitely shouldn't, uh, try to, shouldn't try to analyze them too much. Anyway, dreams are the sleeping mind that play no sense in getting worked up. The, the very interesting part about dreams is that when you're like dreaming and actually unexpected things happen in your dream or remember things uh, that you thought you've forgotten and they just come up in your dream and like, wow, what? Uh, dreams are the sleeping... Oh, let's just go with that. That's rational. Please, this is important. He frowns. In these dreams, I also see you at the center of the wheel in the middle of the orchard. You were the... There when Eotas rose, and you seem to follow every place he's been. Well, I didn't have much of a choice. He just up and left. Taking my castle with him. I want my sweet ass statue back in my Cadnua uh crib. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I went with that, but sure. He works his mouth into a fretful pout as he gets to the crux of his concerns. Eotas has always meant rebirth and redemption, but so much death follows in his wake, both in the Saints' War and now here, again. 
His wide eyes are full of questions. <sighs> Is this what I sound like? Either gives you a guilty grimace. He turns toward Latern. Friend, I'd love to buy you a drink if it will help. He shakes his head, the anxiety mounting behind his eyes. I need to know what this means, please. Oh, come on. Trying to look for meaning in your dreams? There are no easy answers. Why are you coming be to me with this? I never asked to speak for anyone. Death and rebirth are part of the same cycle. You can't leave one without the other. That's dumb. I don't think he does intense harm. He caused a lot of suffering. Let's just go with that. He makes a face as though he's working at something stuck in his teeth. Why a lot of people are just trying to go out of their way to defend this guy? Just because he's more powerful doesn't mean he can just kill anybody. If I just started murdering civilians, but hey, I was, I was rich and strong, and also I could cast spells, then I'm like, hey, it's all cool, cool. It's all cool, you know. My people followed Eotas to war once. I wonder sometimes if we failed him when we lost, or if he did that the moment we laid hand to blade. What the hell are these conversation options? <clears throat> Please, you've seen more than anyone. You got to have some idea of what it, it all means and how we make sense of it. That's your problem. You're trying to. I told you already. What's up with this meaning? You don't know. You have imperfect information. All you know is that Eotas is causing a lot of harm. You worship him as a... As a god of good, most likely. Actually. At least the power of good. Like, he's responsible for a, a lot of things, apparently, according to people. But, like, realistically, what he does is just kills people. I can't tell you how to respond, you have to figure this out for yourself. That's not good. Don't rely on custom to drive your fate, or you'll make the same mistakes as before. No, 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 we need to not sugarcoat this for this guy. He is so confused, and if we just give him something vague, then he's, he's gonna be like, Wow, that's so deep. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't know what it means, but I trust there is a higher purpose to God's action, including Eltas. But we do know for a fact that, like, that doesn't make him any better. Even gods must answer for their crimes. Eltas is no exception. Nothing is. I do not value the gods higher or anyway. I just just because again I made this point clear. Uh, I have. Uh, I don't know, just because they are more powerful than regular people doesn't mean uh, a damn thing to me. Sorry, that doesn't impress me. The gods aren't the only means to greater understanding. Together, Kit can achieve much. Just look at Anamancy. Maybe he doesn't like Anamancy. Your fate and your way of life has kept your people together through war and famine. Hold on to them. The Dawnstars have survived because of the community they form. You don't need the Atos for that. Oh, that's good. Let's go with that. I, actually, I can get behind that. I can look at religion that way. That it's just a, a community. Never thought of it that way. That are not letting this sink in. So you guys just united because you believed in something dumb? Well, I suppose it's not a lie, but like, it is a lie in a way. Like, Eotas is real, but is he really uh, what you think him to be? No, he is not. So... Alright, old man, let's turn. I won't keep you, but you've given me a lot to think about. God damn it! That's what I didn't want. I wanted to make it crystal clear, nothing to think about, because obviously these guys like to find meaning in wake stuff. You know what? 
Like, if you really want that meaning of what Eotas is doing, you better off just getting some information rather than just like, oh, I'm gonna sit around and, ooh, find the meaning. He turns away and allows himself to melt into the crowd. Really? We just let the guy go? Unbelievable. Let's go to the sacred stair, Temple of Gaon. Yeah, obviously that's where we're going. We have so many places to go. I think we need to go to the bathhouse as well. Uh, for Seraphim. We need to go back to Nekataka time and time again. Adric. So, who? So you're the commander of the... Iron Flail? Were you looking to enlist? I've never seen a temp take care. I Good think we are there. Came to talk with Alton. This woman's unceasing smile and direct, violating gaze give the strong impression of someone selling something. Light of Aethis be upon you. Ah, uh, of course that. Burns said you could tell us about the partisans of the Lighted Path. Your friend guided you truly. Gadarian Bosch has honored me with the duty of helping his message reach all of the faithful. We answer the Shining God's call. He shows us the way and we march in his wake. Already the Vanguard prepares to make its journey, with more soon to follow. Okay, so basically a lot of guys are gonna suicide. How would you join with Eotas? Chase him in a boat? Yes, in fact. We will follow him along the lighted path. Okay, Agni is dangerous. When the time is right, he will welcome our souls into his legion. Gadarian Bosch has seen it. Uh, just your souls then? Not, uh, not your bodies? Your journey sounds dangerous. The Shining God demands total commitment from his followers. Are you going on this journey yourself? I wouldn't be surprised if uh, you were. But, like, if you weren't, now that would be hypocritical. Aren't you eager to join with the Shining God? What good is a soldier who is not willing to make the ultimate sacrifice for her cause? What good is a soldier who is an idiot? Hmm? Think about that. To walk the lighted path, one must be willing to never turn back. Uh, tough to walk very far without a soul. The Holoborn, huh? Usually you'd have to stack him in a wheelbarrow and push him around. Who are the Vanguard? Gadarian Bosch leads the Vanguard. They are the most righteous of the Partisans. They will be the first to join the ranks of Aethys. The first to charge at his call. Baron said something about the Vanguard. You don't think he's that dumb, do you? Ogden's eyes shift momentarily to Adair, then back to you. She says nothing, merely re-raising her smile. Do you know the a list of people in the Vanguard? Do you want to see if our friend is among them? The Vanguard know their own, and Gadarian <laughs> Bosch knows them. Beyond that, we keep such information private. Of course you do. Adam turns his head away to hide a look of exasperation. But then it shifts, his eyes suddenly hopeful. He looks back at Alton. If they know their own, what do you think they'd say to a couple new members? Can we be in the Vanguard too? <laughs> I'm afraid you cannot. The Vanguard is reserved for the most faithful among us. You have not even joined the Partisans. Alright, time to... time to pretend. I followed the lighted path all the way from its origin in Durwood and as a grand pilgrimage. How about that? All of you are bloody amateurs. They, you just like spend time in this uh, dank cave. Like, I don't know. I, I, I guess it is. All day. What's that? Oh, my religion? I suppose my religion is not the best. Uh, that I have only just learned of the partisans is circumstance, not a me measure of fate. 
no, I followed the lighted path all the way from its origin in Deerwood as a grand pilgrimage. How about that? Hmm, perhaps you do have the glow of someone prepared to lead the charge. Exactly. Unfortunately, even if I were to initiate you right now into our order, it would be too late to join the vanguard. Aww, not enough room on the ship? Their ship is docked right now in Nekataka and set to depart at any moment. Hell yeah! We're gonna sing the ship in the port and all these people are gonna be sad and they're gonna stay. You think he could be on it? If he left right after we did, we gotta go. Yeah. They won't take you, but there will be more ships to follow. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got the perfect plan. We don't plan to own the ship. We, we plan to, you know, it's just gonna be a surprise. Stay and learn about the partisans of the lighted path. And I'll see that there is room for you. God damn it. Uh, that's a real nice offer. We'll uh, think about it and get back to you. Uh, well, see you later. Ognanots are expression no different than it was when you arrived. And shouldn't we just... Aren't we justified in killing her? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It, it's a tough line to walk. If she intentionally... Okay. Let's, 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 uh, just... Don't think about uh, this whole fate aspect of it. What she is doing is that she's sending people, uh, perhaps misguided people, because they believe in a god that's good and that good that god is killing a lot of people. They sending misguided people, but I'm like loading them onto ships. To die. How do you feel about that? Perhaps she's not solely responsible, but still. Uh, let's see the formation. I think I needed to change it. But that doesn't change too much. How'd all this blood get on my robes? I've just cleaned them. My point is, like. You believe in whatever you want to believe, like, I, I, well, I, well, I like to, I like, I like, I like to operate that way, but, like, you're still responsible for your actions, and if your action is just to send a ship full of people non-stop to their deaths, I mean, that's, that's just pretty shady. Compared to that, like, the slave trade is like, it's like, uh, fucking paradise. Mark one, their beach. Oh, well then. Can you teach Questions? me? I've told you of my troubles. I suppose it's the least I can do. Alchemy religion, Settled. sure. Oh, okay. We learned his training. I did recall this guy from earlier. Each obstacle. Alright. So okay, we have a pretty good idea of where the the bounty hunter is. Supplies, get your supplies. Supplies here. here. I don't you got some certainly. Certainly. Well, this is kind of crappy. Nah, that's crappy. Ah, uh, whatever. Supplies! Get your supplies here! Okauro! Guess what? Hunter, do you come to serve your coin bond? Yo, this bond? Oh. One dead? A skeptic for you. Then our clients have transmuted gold into justice. Hell yeah. You have proven to me that you know the value of a coin bond. There is more work for you, if you'll have it. Do you have any other hobbies? I am a paladin of the Gold Pact Order. Since taking my oath, I have never been absent of work and duty for longer than an afternoon. Well, you very loosely de this define work. Like, you basically just stand here next to a cart, some barrels, and some boxes and like, talk about some bond and uh, well, you just uh, take a cut from all the bounties. I don't know, doesn't sound much like a job for a paladin. She stands rigid and raises a fist over her heart, but something in her manner softens. I also enjoy knitting on occasion. Ooh, you do! Oh, lovely. Uh, what bounties do you have available? 
Anadire the Siren haunts the rocky shore and steers ships to a watery grave. The surviving crews of a dozen vessels have rallied their coin against her. Great. She holds a pyre up to the sky and admires how it catches the light. Why up to the sky? She can be found in the western isles of the great Kua Urukuhu chain. Yep. I got her already. Your coin bond has muffled a killing song. Excellent work. We are not finished. Your bond is needed again. And what else you got? Ikorno, a wizard of great cunning, slays Mataru warriors in single combat. Some accuse him of being an agent of Rawatai. They have forged a coin bond to see him killed. A pair of coins sit on her palm. When she passes her other hand over them, only one remains. A waste of money. If he was one of our agents, he wouldn't have gotten caught. It is not for us to say what is right or true. Only to keep our vows. Ikorno pages through his grimoire in the central aisles of the Kua Orakuhu chain. I didn't kill her yet! Alright, I'll get back. Speak freely, I say. Okay, for all. I'll get back to you on that wizard I haven't killed yet. <laughs> the, the, all these bunty people should be at, at the same place and like... Yep, I killed her already. Oh yeah, that, that guy. Yep, 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 yep. I'm just gonna sink and kill everybody. So, maybe we should go to Serpent's Crown. Seems like the... The most appropriate place to go to. No, where are we going? Maybe we sh before we go into the palace, uh, we are simply just gonna return the bounty first, and then uh, we then we go into the palace. Then we gonna well, we gonna have a lot to do. I'm actually somewhat tempted. Like on my second playthrough, I might just be tempted to not do any bounty missions because I feel like it's just like. It's, it's weird. You, you get you get copper for it, I suppose that helps, but and you get some reputation for it, but probably you can do without it. Do I get some special welcome? So, you don't think that a carving of exceptional cultural relevance belongs to the people who made it? Yep. Exactly. Which part of ancient Huana tablet? Do you not understand? I don't understand who are not. Tablets. Good luck with your disingenuous new friends. You'll need them. She narrows her eyes and <laughs> says no more. God damn it, just because I said tablet. Why, why did I have to talk to her? Now we just uh, got major negative. With nothing. What say, Hunter? Give Benno's head. Looks like her luck ran out. So it has. She was like a greased pyre in her day, slipping between hands that never grasped her for long. What bond is you got? Nothing lasts forever. Good work, Hunter. My contacts hiss of Flamewalker Vesali. A Naga shaman with a venomous tongue. During a conflict between clans, Vasali lured a rival leader into an ambush under the guise of truce. Her snake brethren want her snuffed out. She is rumored to be near the territory she claimed in the eastern parts of the Kawao Rukuhu island chain. Okay, I didn't Ask kill every- Hunter. Okay, farewell. I didn't kill everybody at the Rukuhu Islands. I've not I been there yet. Well, that, that's my excuse, I suppose. We still have more places to explore here. Not Lady Apero's estate, or Muhaya's estate. Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, I think, I'm pretty sure that we need to go into the palace. At this point. Maybe the luxury... I don't know, I find it really hard to believe that Una is selling a lot of good luxuries. And I, as, as far as I know, they don't update their stock, so if I found her stock uh, disappointing already, then it's not gonna get any better. Yeah, she has nothing. Well, I'm, I actually have uh, quite a bit of money at this point. Looks like we need to go into the palace. 
65,000? Just for the bounties. Without the bounties, uh, that wouldn't be as high. We gain like at least 30,000 from the bounties. Alright. Uh, this is a good time to take a break. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.